everybody welcome back to the iron oak sawmill we are busy already here on the job working with chris from uh, cs cal tree and landscape and we're doing it the fun way got a crane out here on the job climber in the tree Doing the first pick of the morning. Pop out of an ash tree. And I'm gonna just keep myself out of the way. Coming down between the oaks here. What are the two ash trees? Feeding it into the big old chipper. Alright, first pick is on the ground, guys are getting to it. We've got ash, oak, red oak, and I think a little bit of white oak on this job. Um, this ash, probably not going to take anything off of this. Uh, it's only about 18 inches and it's knotty all the way down. So, Except for the very bottom at the crotch, it's actually a, a twin tree about a crotch going out six, eight foot off the ground. I might, might try to take that. Other than that, nothing out of this first one.
this load of chips in. Forget how many cubic yards this thing holds, but 10 maybe, eight. I don't know, total guess. Got all the tops out of three of them back there. Starting to work on the fourth, the white oak. Not much to it back there. The bottom's covered in ivy. Not sure exactly what it looks like. But we're going to take what we can get for logs out of it. The crane's limited on how heavy it can lift as well. So we're not going to be lifting any 15 footers out of here, anything like that. Although they're that long, uh, maybe eight. If that's up to the climber and the crane operator. They know their limits, especially with the crane. Don't want any accidents. These guys are good, and they'll keep it safe. See, uh, we get a focus here. Is that focus? There we go. The crane man. There we go. If you need some crane work done in the area. This one over here, right there, big, big ash tree. Uh, we're going to need bigger crane for that, so that's going to be another day. We're still trying to beat the rain. <laughs> we didn't really beat it. It's raining right now, but we keep going as long as we can. It's not pouring. But uh, we got a decent shower going right now. Hopefully it, it waits. It's not supposed to really start in until about 2 or 3 o'clock. And it's only about 11 now, so we'll keep going. Let's get them on the ground. Now we do have the log hauler back in service for this job, too. Got the new tires and wheels on it. Those other ones, the wider, wider rims or wider wheels weren't doing us any good and they were real soft compound tires that came on the truck, so. Got us uh, some nice Cooper Discovers on there, AT3s. And uh, nice, nice older style rims on there, but it's doing the job. Deb's hiding inside right now. Got the trailer waiting here for uh, logs to be laid out on it. I can get the weight from the crane operator tell me how heavy the logs are so I know how heavy I'm loading my trailer. Well, this could be a nice size pick there. Taking that leader and everything with it on that side. Popped it right off of there. The beeping noise is the uh, chipper truck backing up behind me to dump off a load of chips. Well, we missed this one because we were so worried about getting it on there. That's the whole butt log of the white oak. 24 inch diameter, roughly. On a big end. About 16 feet long, 15 feet long, loaded with ivy. Yep. Because here to the uh, beaver tail is 16 feet, so. It's a 16 footer, probably cut it off about 10 foot for the clear lumber, take the rest of it for crotch up here at this end, so looking good. Next one on the ground here, crane operator would rather pick them, lay them down and then pick them back up with a double line and get it, uh, it's coming over, watch it buddy. All right, well, we got crane operator wants to lay him down because it's easier to pick him, lay him down, and then put a double sling on it to uh, make it more stable to load onto the trailer. Deb's telling me no for this. That's a nice red oak crotch. If you, if you disagree with her, let me know in the comments section. <laughs> Thank you, 
but the log hauler's working good. I'm really happy. It's uh, the new tires are getting plenty of grip here on the wet grass. Um, trailer's doing good. I mean, it's a trailer, 10,000 pounds. So, got to get this off of here. <laughs> Definitely got to get that ivy off there. I told Deb, if it comes up to the house, make sure this goes in the burn pile. Don't. Uh, don't let it get planted anywhere. You don't want this English ivy growing anywhere near your house. Next pick coming out. Looks like ash. Unless that's another red oak. Nice. Dead. Doesn't matter, it's all getting laid on the ground anyway. There's another log. That's the butt end of that red oak, I believe. Coming down. Yep, gotta watch your overhead, and I don't have my helmet on either. nice red we don't really need red right now but we'll take red especially clear red right, these guys get the slings off yeah I don't have a helmet on so I'm not going under there I took my helmet off I should put it back on next pick I can't see the climber, he's down behind the house. But, yeah, that's like a 25 footer, 30 footer. And it's down. All right, this looks like the final pick. This is like a 40 footer. This bottom part here, up to that crotch, we're gonna take that. The rest of it's too wonky. Man, that's a big one. That's at least 40 foot. I'm surprised that it, well, the crane is close. So it wasn't a big reach to get to it. And it is ash, so it is lighter than the oak. Sorry about the fingers in the lens there. I think he's gonna come right down here with it. gonna reach the trailer. <laughs> there you go. No, he can swing it over. He can swing it over. It's going to go it's gonna go over anyway. Because it's hitting the uh, red oak back there. Pull it right over and we're we're clear. Good deal. Alright I'm gonna turn the camera over to Deb because we had to get this all loaded up.
got to get her home. I don't like this at all. This is what we got on. On it. A lot. Lots of logs. That's what we got on the truck. And she looks like this. Squatting pretty much. I got help Chuck. All right, out. Well, we made it home. Everything's intact. And uh, I don't know, the truck worked somewhat. Coming home. It, it sounded pretty bad pulling out of the driveway over there. It was a pretty good hill coming up out of the driveway, but once we got on the road, she just rolled right along. Just nice and easy, don't beat it. And also remember, if you're doing this kind of heavy hauling, don't pull in and shut it off. Especially with the diesels. You gotta let the exhaust temperatures cool down. You gotta let your trans cool down and let your engine cool down. I mean the trans temps didn't go above 160 in here. Maybe a little 170. But we weren't really romping on it, so it did good. It did real good. It had me, like I said, it had me a little worry pulling out of the driveway over there, but after that, it's just smooth sailing. A little a little bumpy but did real well. We'll be rolling these off the trailer. Maybe today, I don't know, it's still raining, but we gotta get the weight off the truck, so let's, uh, let's, do that. let's do that right now. I'm just gonna jack the tongue up here, take the weight off the truck. We have the trailer wheels chocked. Yeah. Just gonna get the weight off the springs of this thing, so give it a little break. There you go. I already dropped the jack down, so. Previous owner put the uh, F-350 springs in the rear of this, so that worked out well. Doesn't mean you can load it down real heavy, but it did make it a little stiffer so you didn't get the sag in the back, so. All right, we're gonna go in the house, take a break. Trailer's fine with the weight. You might have to back it up a little bit. Roll the logs in there. We weren't gonna bring these here, but it's too much weight to roll into the field next door. Go. Boost gauge, of course, at zero because we're idling. Exhaust gas temperatures were down right around 200. That's good. We can shut her down. And trans temp 140. That should be fine. All right. I think we're looking at a uh, different trans cooler for this truck. If we're going to haul heavy, let's get a good trans cooler in here. All right. There it is, folks. Let her cool down before you uh, shut it off. Keep your uh, engine and your transmission alive a little longer.